Hey guys, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. Today we're gonna to talk about a Thinx Canary FTP honeypot that you can deploy for about $10 in a few minutes of your time. First off, I wanna thank another maker for his efforts on this Open Canary project. This is his code and I highly recommend you checking out his videos and subscribing to his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so what is an FTP Canary honeypot and why would you want one? As you may know, most cyber attacks these days begin with a breach, but unlike in the past where they would just encrypt or steal information, now the bad actors tend to stay on the network for a while and explore. They're looking for higher value exploits to cause more damage and make more money. One of the ways that MSPs like DPC Technology is detecting these intrusions is by laying out decoy canary files. These traps will notify you when somebody's trying to access or modify these files so that you can take steps to stop the attack. Our partners at Huntress help us monitor Canary files on all of our managed computers. But Things Canary takes this a step further by running services on small devices that look like an SQL or an FTP or an RDP server. They can emulate many different devices that look really appetizing to a would-be attacker. The attacker can't see that the device is fake until he's attacked it. And at that point, the device has already phoned home that has been compromised. Say, well, that's great, Clay. How do I get one? Well, you can go online to canary.tools and order the smallest package, which comes with two units for $5,000. Or you could do this. All right, we're gonna need a few things for this project. First, we'll be using a little tiny ESP8266 Wi-Fi board. You'll also need a micro USB cable for this. And if you wanna leave it running and not connected to your computer after you program it, you could also get a USB wall adapter. I'll put a link to all you need as well as link to all the downloads and tokens in the description below. Let me frame this up by saying I've done a few Arduino LED projects, but I am far from an expert. So I'm gonna walk you through everything like you're a beginner because that's basically what I am. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right into the Arduino IDE software. All right, so let's jump right into the Arduino IDE software. And I'm gonna show you real quickly how we can get set up with the Things Canary script. And so first thing we're gonna do is go in here and we're gonna to wanna to go to our boards manager. So I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna to go to boards manager. I use the ESP8266 module. So you wanna click down here, find that module and make sure that it's installed. Cause if not, it's not gonna recognize it. And then we're gonna go into tools again and we're gonna to go to manage libraries. Inside of here, once that fires up, we are gonna type in ESP Canary, and there it is. And we're gonna go ahead and install it. Obviously, if I've, I've installed it before. All right, then we're gonna go up to File, and we're gonna go to Examples, and we're gonna look down here for ESP Canary, and there's only one sketch in here. We're gonna fire that up. It's gonna fire up a new tab with it in there, and we're, there's only a few things in here that we're gonna to wanna to change. So really quickly, we're obviously gonna to wanna to change our SSID and the password for our Wi-Fi network. Beyond that, you could change the MAC address, the spoofed MAC address for the Canary Pi. What we have in here by default is gonna be a Synology NAS. Um, so it's gonna show up as a Synology. You can get a list of different MAC addresses, uh, prefixes if you wanted to change that. Um, there's some more detailed instructions in another maker's video on that as well. I just left it uh, as is a Synology. You know, for, of course, our SSID, our password. So next we're gonna need to generate our Canary token. So all we have to do is click the little link here. It'll bring up a web browser. Um, this is a free site where you can get a Canary token. So we're gonna go ahead and choose web bug URL token. Uh, we're gonna put in an email address. And then we're gonna put in some text here. It's gonna show up in the email. I'll remind you that somebody has tripped the uh, Thanks, Canary. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in here, attention, we've been hacked, and I'm gonna go create my Canary token. So then we're just gonna go ahead and copy this Canary token, and we're gonna paste that right into here where it says, create, paste Canary token in here. And we're gonna go paste. And if we wanted to change the default username and password for this fake FTP server, we could here, right now it says admin and password. Um, so that's what's gonna make you be able to log into them. If we wanted the bad guy to be able to put anything for the password, we could just put in the percent sign in here and it's gonna and then accept any password. Same thing for the FTP user. We could, instead of adding admin there, we could put that. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in as admin. At this point, all you need to do is compile the code and go ahead and send it, um, which is this button here, which is upload. Um, you also just need to make sure that you are on the right port here. As soon as you got that right, you can just go ahead and write it to it. I'm not gonna overwrite it with these settings, but that's all you have to do. And as soon as you've done that, boom, it should just fire up. You should be able to find it on your network. All right, so I've done a quick network scan and you can see it's showing up here at 192.168.1.97. 
and in fact does look like a Synology NAS. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go in FileZilla here and I'm going to go ahead and try and connect to it. And there we go. We are inside the Synology NAS. It's got an empty directory on it. There's nothing in it right now, but as soon as I hit that NAS, it's gonna trigger an email that comes out and this is what that email is going to look like. It's gonna just basically say a canary token was triggered. It's going to give you uh, the canary token. It's gonna give you the reminder or the text that you typed into the screen there. Um, this was a web token. Obviously you could create some other type of tokens there on the site. If you wanna get a little deeper into the other types of tokens there, I suggest subscribing to another maker. He's doing a whole series on things canary. In his videos, he'll go a little bit deeper into what you can do with those other types of tokens. Um, it will give you the source IP and the user's IP. You obviously can download this Canary token and get some more information by clicking on the downloads. You can also click here to manage that Canary token and maybe turn off or on triggers. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna go back to the studio and wrap it up. All right, that's all there is to it. Now you can just fire it up and let it sit there and wait for the trap to spring. Obviously, like anything you put on your network, you need to manage this device. As with any open source project, I would make a schedule of logging in to make sure it's working and run any updates that may come down the line. I also highly recommend that you check out another maker's video on this and his other Thinks Canary Raspberry Pi project. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and we'll see you in the next video.